Hello, Selfish Cube community, and welcome back to another World Tanks Calls video. So, in this video, I want to teach you about Splash Radius. Splash Radius is the, um, it's, Splash Radius is only on High Explosive, Premium High Explosive, and any of the other names, like Hash, Hep, or any of the other ones. But, High Explosive. Heat does not work. Heat does not have a explosion radius, a blast radius, because it's high explosive anti tank. It penetrates armor, smashes its way, it penetrates armor, and it must penetrate the armor to do damage. High explosive is different. High explosive also has a splash radius, so it does not actually have to penetrate a target to deal damage. Now, um, I'm going to be using the Storm Tiger for this demonstration of. Splash radius because the Star Tiger it has the biggest blast radius in the entire game at 12.86 meters per second. We are firing its premium high explosive, and we're gonna have a target of the locusts. And what better map to change uh, do it all than Wide Park, the brand new uh, returning map? All right, guys, so. Let's explain Blast Radius. Blast Radius is not just a two, uh, 2D uh, splash radius. It's a giant circle. So where your shell hits and the 12 point and the splash radius. In this account, we're taking the 12.86 premium high explosive with the Storm Tiger. So imagine where your shell hits, then everything around, up, down, left, right, diagonal, everything around that's in that 12.86 meters a splash will get hit unless there's a solid wall unless there's a solid wall completely blocking that high explosive shell off blast radius so what does that mean in blast radius so yeah this right there is obviously going to hurt the locust because of how good the splash radius is it's 12.86 and it's and obviously, there is a hole right there that the shell can just splash up because it's in the 12.86 meters of splash. No matter if I hit it on this side of the wall, I hit it dead on right there, it's still going to do splash damage to that locust. Also, I can hit all the way up here. 12.86 meters of splash is enormous. And I can fire and kill the locust. Because splash radius because it's the giant circle the dot a giant sphere that I was talking about so let's do another example so for this demonstration you remember how I said that if a shell hits a target hits a wall or something like that or the ground no matter what's in that splash radius as long as it's in the splash radius it will get hit there is something else if the target, if you shoot a destructible building, I mean, also, you can even shoot this little wall right here. Most shells will get absorbed. Most time, high explosive will get absorbed. But that doesn't matter because premium high explosive with splash radius will knock it out. Also, you can see the splash radius of this shell. Enormous. Like, that's crazy. That is, like, literally crazy. 12.86 meters. 12.86 meters that way. 12.86 meters that way. And if there was a tank right here, be here, and it'd be over there somewhere. Also, now, what's also very funny about the Sturm Tiger, and also it killed my gunner on my 260 version bomb, so I'm going to fix that. So, I'm actually just showing, and you could do this on any tank, but the premium high explosive because it's so much blast radius and the Stern Tiger is so high, it's very easy to showcase this. Now, you can also do this. If you're in a Stern Tiger, or any tank that actually has enough splash radius, let's just turn my gun so I don't do that. Splash radius. Point. There's the circle effect. Easy. Now if I push the 268 version 5 away, you can still see the circle effect. Also, some people... Yeah, 
Let's see this one first. Some people think that splash radius, especially if it's you know, anything that has really high splash radius, like Storm Tiger, Artillery, or anything like that, some people will hide behind a building and still get damaged. And they'll be like, how did that happen? Like, I can sit... Here, I'll show you how far the person 5 is. That far away, and I'll shoot right there. And guess what? I will still damage the version 5. It's a tracking hit, because it's a little bit farther out of my splash radius, so I should get a little bit closer than that. Just a tad bit. And... You can see how far the version 5 away, even that far away from the Storm Tiger's high explosive, it was not safe. Now, Blast Radius is also affected by the armor it hits. So, the more armor that you hit, the less damage you're going to get taken. Like that, it's 29 damage. The version 5 has a good amount of armor on the front. I wanted to pick a tank that had a good amount of armor on the front to do it with, but it still takes damage. When you are on solid ground, when you're on hard terrain, it's got to be like a pavement, like a walkway, or like concrete. It's got to be concrete. You ha you can actually penetrate tanks. So this version 5 has 812 damage. If I shoot right below the version 5, what? What happens is the splash radius will shoot up into the tank and the tank's weakest part of armor. High explosive mechanics on World Tanks Modern Armor, it tries to find the weakest armor it can find. A high explosive will try to find the weakest armor it can find and do the damage there. So, this means even though I could shoot I can, if I had a lower damage, I would show you. But I could shoot, let's say if I had a 400 alpha gun, I shot there with high explosive, but not much penetration. I will do maybe 50, 70 damage, but if I shot right there, it would do more. If I shot on a weaker point, like in the turret ring, or up here with less armor, it would do more damage. Especially right here, because it will find like the weaker part of the armor. So we're just going to shoot right there, and I'll show you 800 left. Boom. Dead. Okay, so I got the IS-3 Auto. The IS-3, yeah, IS-3 Auto. With its 28, uh, 28 rounds of high explosive, I'm actually trying to 3 mark this tank with only high explosive, and it's going pretty good at 2 marks. Anyway, this tank has 61mm penetration on its high explosive, 530 damage. And that's a tier 10. 268 version 5, pretty good armor. Now, I'm actually going to show you what I was talking about with the lower high explosive. Uh, where when you shoot with high explosive on World Tanks console, not on PC, because the PC mechanics of high explosive are different, um, the blast radius of high explosive will try to find the weakest model of armor and do the most damage there. Now, if I just shot up here on the upper plate, that's only 38 damage. But if I shot, I don't know, right here at the turret ring, like I was saying earlier, that's 227 damage. What about this roof right here? Even though I could not penetrate this spot with AP, I could still do 182 damage. What about this spot? A normal weak point. Let's see it. 147 damage. But if I shot right here, it would do 30 something damage. Also doing module damage. I'm not I don't think I've killed any crew members yet. That's 65 damage. Or what about the lower plate? And I'll show you the like a roof one too. Not the roof. Uh the So that was 115. As you can see, armor. If you shoot lower armor. Even though you cannot physically penetrate it with the round that you're firing, it will always do damage. Also, you cannot, for most tanks, unless you're talking about shark gels, if you shoot a track armor, you will not do damage. Now, I shoot 
High Explosive is really good at shooting track armor because two things. One, it gives you track assist, and two, it does more damage because it's shooting the weaker armor on your side. So it does 146, and it also blows the track off of the tank. Now, let's do the underplate, like I did on the Stern Tiger, 168. Did I miss? No, I hit it there. Let's do a little, another shot there, 195. As you can see, it's a very viable point. Also, right here on the engine deck, I would not be able to penetrate with my AP, unless I could overmatch. I don't know how strong that is, but if I shot right there, 133. Oh, I shot the side there. Okay, if I shot right here, shot right here, how much damage? 235 damage. I am absolutely annihilating in this version 5, which is not supposed to. Also, I did the damage. Also, here, I'll show you this part. Under the turret is a really good spot. Right there. Turret ring under the turret. It will find so many... This high explosive will kill this version 5. I can guarantee you. I haven't tried this before, but I know high explosive mechanics in the blast radius. This tank has like, I think it's 1.91 meters of splice. Sounds normal for a 122. Should be it. Um, but yeah. Oh, it almost did. But I also did the ammo rack. Oh, okay. I fired up here. I should have fired down there. My mistake. But I also damaged the ammo rack. Dead. As you can see, blast, blast radius, well, splash radius, and a tank is super powerful if you know how to do this, the mechanics in the game. And high explosive can be one of your most important shells, so always carry high explosive for that splash radius, and to always do damage if you know where to hit. And yeah, especially if you're driving a KV2. These are weak points that you need to know and stuff like that. Blast radius, splash radius, whatever you want to call it. It's amazing. Giant sphere is not like a 2D, 2D, two dimensional where it can only hit up, down, or left, or right. It can, it's a giant sphere. But yeah. Hope y'all guys enjoyed this. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, remember, subscribe to Facebook as well as that. And peace out. See ya.